everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy's Sweet Life, and today we are walking through the brand new redesigned Daily Duo. This does come in seven by nine and a five size, and it is completely redesigned, and it is a total game changer for me. I am so psyched about this. I did end up ordering this one with my own money because I really, really wanted it. So in this video, we're gonna walk through cover to cover, talk about the options available, talk about all the specs, look at all the tab colors, talk about all the ins and outs, compare it to last year's, which is not nearly as good. I wanted to love the Daily Duo, but that dang stinking little mini calendar totally ruined the vibes for me. So unfortunately, I never ended up using the Daily Duo a ton. I'd have to cover up that mini calendar and it was really annoying to have to do that when it's like smack in the middle of your page and it makes this little awkward section. They totally perfected the Daily Duo because the big deal is they got rid of that mini calendar, but they also added a two page, like a front and back sheet in there and it's a total game changer. They added a whole new sheet of paper so you get a front and back in the system and I have ideas on how I'm gonna use those extra pages. So each week gets the Daily Duo pages, the full on day page. They also include weekend daily pages which a lot of planners give you like a half a page. I feel gypped when you get like a half a page. This one has full on weekend full pages. You also have two lined pages and a weekly overview page now. So there's tons of stuff every single week and I have ideas for how I'm gonna take advantage of those new pages that they put in. I just, I love this guys. This is one of the planner perfection things. Once they got rid of that mini calendar, it just changed everything. Adding in the weekly overview and the extra page, game changer for me. So I plan on using this as soon as July 1st rolls around because I am so psyched about this one. I did get it in the bold blooms because I just happen to love the bold blooms color scheme. So I do have bold blooms covers. I got the bold blooms insides. And if you have watched my other EC launch videos, I have walked through cover to cover of my EC hourly. So you could see all the tabs and the different colors. And they are the same colors in this one, but the format is way different being a daily page. So this one comes in two big brick planners. It's a nice chunky monkey planner. And I am so excited about this one. I cannot wait for this one to kick in. And in fact, because it doesn't kick in till July, I'm using the daily duo again, even though I have to cover up those stickers. I'm trying to find my pages here. So as soon as I got back from Go Wild, I started making daily pages and I just happened to love, love, love this. But unfortunately, it's got this big gap where the mini calendar is. I have to put a sticker in. I'm trying really hard to use what I got and make the best of it. So when July 1st rolls around, I'll have my kind of setup ideas down and have a system going for using it every day. Uh, but yeah, so excited about this one. Let's go ahead and change camera angles and we're gonna hop into the walkthrough of this. I do have a new customer coupon down below. If you're a new customer, you can take advantage of that one. Otherwise, I do have affiliate links down below for you guys. If you find this video helpful, I would love for you to use my affiliate links. It definitely helps me grow this channel. And if you don't plan on purchasing anything, it helps me if you just watch the video and even just leaving a comment or leaving a like. It really helps me grow this channel and boosts my videos. So I would appreciate those things. Don't cost you any money. So if you don't plan on buying EC things. Those are great ways you can help support this channel. So I always say in the end, like, like, subscribe, follow me along, because those things mean so much to me and it helps me continue to make this channel better and better. So those are really, really great options for if you want to help this channel out. So anyway, let's go ahead and switch camera angles and we're going to walk through all of the Daily Duo goodness. And we are talking Erin Condren Daily Duo today. I do have various sizes of these so that you can see a little bit of comparison. Although the layout got a major facelift and is really different this year, the layout is mostly the same. You've got an hourly and a to-do list and a notes section. Basically, this is what you have. So the Daily Duo, as of yet, still comes in a two planner pack. It is a whole year, but it's broken up into six months because you get that daily page. These things are chalky. So this is half of a year of the Daily Duo and you get two. And one thing I recommend is getting your upgraded coil. They don't let you get the multicolored special fancy coil as an upgrade. This one happens to be just a year planner, but they do let you get the rose gold or the gold. I did end up getting rose gold and it's a $10 upcharge, but you get two coils for that. And if you're somebody, especially who Franken plans, that is way more bang for your buck getting two coils for the same price. And that's the reason they don't let you get the fancier one because these ones cost more to manufacture than the other colorful coils. So they do let you get away with it in the daily duo for the solid colors, but not the ones that change colors. So I really am happy that I have two rose gold coils to play around with when I'm done with these daily duos. As far as covers, you get one customized cover and then one blank cover. And because I chose the Bold Blooms Heather, my other cover was a different Bold Bloom. So if you choose the Evolve, you'll get two different Evolves. And if you choose 
the bold blooms you'll get two different bold blooms covers and mine happens to be the heather so i got two actually different covers which is fun and that's just usually you'll know based on what cover you pick what your second cover is but this year they didn't show like the thumbnail usually would look like this so you'd know what your back cover was they didn't have the thumbnails like that this year so i wanted to be sure to let you guys know because i ordered the bold blooms heather daily duo i got the regular bold blooms cover and now they do have a metallic bold blooms cover it is in on my current hourly franken planner and this is the old colorful coil but this one has the metallic on it so if you get the metallic bold blooms you'll have a metallic cover and then the plain without the metallic and then like i said you put your customization on the first cover that you pick and then your second cover is going to be completely plain so that's just something to note you will get the two covers but one of them will be just a standard default depending on what other cover you pick so i ended up getting the bold blooms heather and then you can choose your insides and they do have the evolve the canvas and the bold blooms insides i just chose the bold blooms because i just happen to love that color scheme i love the tabs on it but you can totally choose the other color combos and i do have a canvas from the current year um, this one kicks in in july but this one was the year leading up to that but this one is the old style with the mini calendar and the canvas has the gray bars up at the top whereas the evolve and the bold blooms have the colorful bars so it matches whatever tab color you're in so like this is the july color because it's the like mauvey color tab it has that bar on the page and you can see the upgraded layout they just moved everything up and got rid of that mini calendar which is so helpful i have been complaining about those mini calendars forever and i'm so glad to see them off of the daily duo so that's your basic information. You get the two planners. It's the year split up into two. We are going to walk through and I'll show you guys all the colors and talk about it a little bit for the bold blooms pattern. But we're going to go ahead and walk through the layout first before we talk tab colors and stuff because the layout's going to be the same. No matter which planner you get, the layout will be the same. So you get your planner cover and it has a little bit of a dashboard area. You can use wet erase, dry erase, or Sharpie markers on here. You get a vellum and with the bold blooms, it is just the um, canvas pattern just the asterisk just the asterisk I can't say that the evolve has a specific vellum with the little like pattern around the corners of it you get your title page these are made in the USA and the coils are also made in the USA somebody else manufactures the coils but they manufacture lots of stuff in-house papers and covers and everything get manufactured in-house and it is mohawk paper so it's the nice thick toothy paper and then here is a look, since it's split up into six months, you get the six squares. You can use these for months. And then you also get the six squares of monthly calendar here with some lined space. You move on right to your tab, and this has the year on it, 2024, and it gives you forward planning here. So this is all of year 2025 on this little calendar here. And this book is the half year, so it goes July through December of 2024. And then the next one is January through June of 2025. And the tabs all look a little bit different as far as color scheme and painted pattern. And they all have a little quote. So this one says, embrace all that is you. We've got various different colors and patterns and different flowers and butterflies on the tabs. We'll walk through all of them, but they do change. And that does determine your colors for your various pages. So here's the look at the monthly. It is directly on the tab. It is a Sunday start and you get a little column down the side. And this is a full color column, which they didn't used to have. It used to be just patterns up at the top. And in the Evolve and Canvas, you don't have this full color sidebar. And then you get right into your dashboard. They moved and swapped these around. So the dashboard page is now on the left-hand side and it just gives you various spaces to put goal setting or important things of the month. You can divvy this up however you want because it doesn't have headers. And then you get a lined page and it's, again, the same color is throughout all of the pages in this month. And then this is what makes this daily duo so awesome. And I think I'm gonna use this for various things. This is definitely going in my lineup starting in July and I'm super excited about this because it gives you a lined paper and your weekly overview and because this is the Bold Blooms, they went ahead and used the Bold Blooms font on here and it is a Monday start up here. You get a few lines for each day and then four dots and I love this layout. I could totally use this as like the weekly overview. Here's our appointments and important things of the day. Here's my top four to-do listing type of things on the other side. I could also see this being a great meal planner. You can write your meals here and then your prep steps here, which I've been doing in my meal planner. I've had like the dinners outlined and then I have steps of like, okay, tonight I need to defrost this in the fridge. I need to prep something early. It really depends on a day-to-day -day basis what prep is involved because 
some of our days are really late with activities and stuff. So it's nice to have things already done and that gives me a really quick glance at it. So I may end up using it as my meal planner in my daily duo. I just love that page. You can use it for so many things. It could be a, a fitness tracker, health tracker, wellness log, whatever you wanna use it for. I think it's a great option in here. And then you get your daily pages and you do get a full daily page for every day of the week, including the weekends, which is great. And there's that color bar. You just get the color bar at the top and then the little asterisk right there. You don't have any of the little mini calendars on these pages, which is great. So let's walk through the page a little bit. In case you're new to the Daily Duo, you get the hourly and it's divided into half hour increments and the half hour has a dotted line and then the hour line is a solid line. So you go all the way from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. and then space down at the bottom. And I've been doing like uh, meal prep or whatever down at the bottom some days when I plan this out. And you have a to-do list here. It's nice and long, but you can totally extend it. And because the other side is lined, you can see the lines from the back page through it. And I have been just using those lines if I have to carry down more information. And it's also a great place to put notes and ideas as well. I have been using a lot of stickers lately. And you will see I cover up that, um, cover up that calendar. I love that this is all moved up so I don't have to worry about doing that, but I love being able to sticker it up because I don't really use this part very much. I just cover it with stickers a lot of times. So I'll show you guys um, like a full little view. I've been splitting up my to-do list a little bit, so I will end up sometimes carrying it down past that line, but I really like to add a lot of highlighting, a lot of dot pens. I think it's great that these are little circle checklists because they work great with those zig clean color dot pens. I love that, and I really enjoy having this all outlined like this from day to day. It gives me a way to prioritize, to do some time blocking on days where the kids aren't here. Like here, I did a little bit of time blocking, and I did little prep steps down at the bottom, like things I need to get done before um, dinner, possibly. And I really enjoy using this. I like being able to decorate it, and I cannot wait to dive into this one and not have to cover up anything. I could just leave it totally as is, or I can decorate it to my heart's content, but I don't have to worry about having to cover up that box in the middle of the page. So I really like the layout of this. Let's go ahead and keep going. These are all the days. You can see holidays are up here at the top. And you get a full box for Saturday and Sunday. The weekends are not like a full page spread. They are back to back. And then you get another lined page. So this is where the magic is for me. You get this full on total lined page and then you get the weekly overview every single week. So every week you get two pages for notes and a weekly overview and a full daily page for every day of the week. And now I don't tend to necessarily use the Sunday page. So I could totally use this for note taking as well if I need to, but I can totally see this being a one planner system for a lot of people because it has that weekly overview. You still have your monthly calendars as well, and you have lined paper every single week. So you could totally make this whatever page you want. And I'm thinking ahead, like this could be my goal setting pages. Like I could do my reflections and my weekly actions on this page, have my weekly overview, and have my daily pages as well. It's just so comprehensive. Now that they've added in the extra, basically like whole sheet of paper, two pages added in, and it's such a great concept. I love it, and I do really just love this bold blooms pattern, but if you don't want it to have any color on it, you can totally get the canvas, and it can be completely a blank slate for you. And if you want the colors to be brighter, you can get the Evolve, which is a much brighter color scheme. The part at the end is a little bit strange sometimes because the months, you know, they don't end on a Sunday and then a new month starts on a Monday kind of thing. So how they broke this up is they tried to get as many pages in to the back of the month as possible. You get your lined page and then you hop into your next month with the monthly spread, the dashboard and lined page, and then you hop into wherever the next page happens to be. So this one happened to carry over the 31st into the new month. It doesn't end on a complete week in here, which is a little bit hard. They're trying as much as possible to get all of the month under the same tab. That way you don't have a ton of days in the next month because of the way the weeks fall. I do like that concept, but it does break things up a little bit strangely here and there. So that one has one extra page. Let's see about September. September starts on a Sunday. So that one was easy. Let's see about October. October um, starts on a Tuesday, so you get that Monday page under here, which is helpful. And see November, you get the Friday. So it does start exactly on the new month, and that means all your October days are under the October tab. They're trying as much as possible to get the whole month in the section, and we'll walk through all the ending things here. So. 
So as far as the end of the year, you get the full year in here. And then you start January 1st in the second half of the book. So after you get to the end of the year, there are a couple of other pages in the back. So you get your heritage and awarenesses printed on there with a lined paper. You get your full color sheet and it has some information on it. You also get the four pages of stickers. So these ones all coordinate and you can purchase additional unbound sheets of this in a four pack as well. Birthdays, and these are just labels. And then you get your pocket and then your back cover. And here, I'm gonna flip this over. You get a perpetual calendar. I've talked about these in lots of videos. So it just has your little calendar so you can carry these over from year to year and have your anniversaries and birthdays in there. But you can also use it for like a line a day or a gratitude log. I've done various things with that over the years. This one, I'm making sure the codes are covered up. You get two 20% off coupons to use. They do last until next year and then some little cards i use these for gift tags and things you always get those with your planner and then you get your back cover the next half of the year is done the exact same way we'll look at the front and back pages of it just so you can see those and then we'll walk through all the tab colors so same setup you get your vellum your title page your second half of the year of your planner in there with six more boxes to work with and then looking forward this gives you a year forward so this one goes all the way through 2026 and then here is January, same concept of these pages. And then we'll go all the way to the back. And this one, I think you get a little bit of a bonus actually. Daily Duo is a little bit expensive, but you get a lot for your money. So you get your heritage and awareness log, your full color page, and four more sheets of stickers, which I used to think you would only get four stickers total, but here you got stickers in both so that is really really awesome you get eight sheets of stickers and then you get your second pocket and your back cover and that walks you through the whole thing now let's go ahead and walk through tab colors really quick there are 12 different tabs but the colors repeat so you get six colors so for just completion we'll go ahead and show the months the dashboard page and then a weekly look at the line and then august is like the mustard color they're calling this one marigold I think it's really pretty. It gives very fallish vibes for me. And then the line up at the top. And then September is more of like a, a purpley grayish. Leads a little bit purple, but definitely has that like grayish vibe to it. Each coat's gonna change as well. And I really like the bar on here. It's really nice and neutral. And then October is a purpley color. And they call this one Heather. And that's the cover I got for this too. There's also a pink cover there's the line and then november is aqua which is gorgeous i love the florals on this one specifically aqua it's really deep on here and then the bar it's just a really nice mid-tone aqua and then december is uh like sagey colored green really pretty i like the combo of that light pink with the green and then the bars like the medium tone there. And then the, you get the same colors repeating, but the quotes will be a little bit different. So moving into January, it's the same colors, the same pattern, but the quote is different. So this one says, embrace all that is you. And this one says, don't wish for it, work for it. So the quotes will change for the whole year, but the colors will be the same. So I'm just gonna flip through so you can see the, I'll flip through so you can see the quotes real quick and then we will call it done because I already walked through the rest of it. Like flipping with this coil next to it, it's a little bit tricky. So there we go, we'll move it over. March, I really love the color scheme of this. So right up my alley with all the aquas and purples. Pretty, and then last is through June. I want to compare the 7 by 9 to the A5. This is just an older one. It's from a few years back. The design layout is a little bit different because it still has the calendar, but it's basically sort of mostly the same. And you can just see in a bigger form factor, you get much more room as far as the width of the columns. You get quite a bit more room on the larger pages, but the small one, you still have plenty of checklisting space. You still have the full on hourly, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. So you still have lots of room. So if you write a lot smaller or you want a little bit more compact size, the new Daily Duo design is in the A5 as well. It comes in the same method with two books. This one's not quite as chunky because I have used pages out of it. And also it doesn't have that extra page every week with the weekly overview. This is the older design. So this one is a little bit beefier. You get to choose your size for this, which is awesome. So if you like a little bit smaller, you can go with the A5 or if you like the bigger size, 
then the seven by nine works really well. And what I like about getting a seven by nine is I can franken plan things together, which means I take the coil off and combine various books. So I can put my hourly in with my daily pages on the same spiral. So that is always a fun thing that you can do. It takes a little bit of finessing to get the coil to work right to uncoil and coil back, but it is possible. So that's always an option. And that's why I like the larger size. I also like to have a lot of white space. As far as decorating, I like to add some highlighting, color coding. I like to use the dot pins. I've had a lot of fun using the Daily Duo. I just have to cover up the, the bigger spots, you know, but for the next year, starting in July, you don't have to do that because it's just nice and even. And I love that you have a bigger notes space if you need it. And then you can also just carry down your checklist. So I really, really love the redesign. I'm excited to have those extra pages every week as well. And that walks you through the whole year. So I'm really happy about this one. I love the changes that they made. I think it's just a complete game changer having the extra lined page and the weekly overview and not having that mini calendar. All of the changes are just so great. If you've been on the fence about the daily duo now, I feel like it's time. <laughs> I've been waiting for that calendar to be gone off of all the daily pages and I'm so excited. I started using the pages again, even though I have to cover it up because I'm so excited to dive into this in July. So I hope you guys like the look at the daily duo. I do have my affiliate code down below. And if you are a new Erin Condren customer, I do have a new customer coupon for you guys as well. Just check the description for everything. I am an affiliate for Erin Condren, but I did purchase these ones for myself. These did not come in my launch box. So I purchased this with my own money. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow me along. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.